The decision has been made by the Australian Federal Government to allow the 142 metre long Dutch super trawler Marguerite into Australian waters. This choice has sparked an outstanding response from all Australian citizens, both educated and non-educated. Their concerns regarding the trawler's 18,000 tonne quota to fish jack mackerel and red bait from South Australia to the top end of New South Wales is the damage and impact that it will have to the fish populations in Australia and how it will directly affect our economy. After the banning of the super trawler in Africa, the Australian government must consider the consequences and impact that it may have on sustaining the environmental aspect, economical issues and sociological safety of the nation. This map shows the direction that the Marguerite will take to reach Australian waters. These maps show the areas in the Australian waters that the Marguerite will enter into to fish. It shows the four states, South Australia, Tasmania, Victoria and New South Wales that will be directly affected by the trawler. Careful research by the Australian Fisheries Management Authority provides data which outlines the fish stock levels over a two year period through monitoring the various species that is expected to be caught by the super trawler. Besides the uncertain statistics of red bait, there is an abundance of fish available within the region that the Marguerite is permitted to fish in. They are not considered overfished, therefore the AFMA show no concern in the security of the fish levels. Careful research by the Australian Fisheries Management Authority provide data which outlines the fish stock levels over a two year period through monitoring the various species that are expected to be caught by the super trawler. Besides the uncertain statistics of red bait, there is an abundance of fish within the region that the Marjorie's is permitted to fish in. They are not considered overfished. Providing that the fish caught by the Marguerites will be supervised and policed carefully, the government does not show any concern regarding the security levels of the fish. Local recreational fishers and green groups are among some of the groups strongly opposing the Marguerites entering Australian waters. Large groups have gathered in protest against the super trawler and many are concerned that large nets will wipe out Australia's fishing stocks till they become overfished. Many Australians are concerned that the Dutch vessel will have a great impact on the economical state of the nation. Only one foreign super trawler is offering less than 50 jobs to Australians using Australian resources and then selling the fish to other countries around the world. Instead, there could be an increase of a hundred smaller vessels with the same total capacity as the Marguerites, smaller gear, less impact and spreading wealth into several Australian states and providing jobs and local seafood for this country. The two species that the Marguerites will be targeting are the mackerel and red bait. These are both key fish preyed on by bluefin tuna, sharks, seabirds and other marine mammals such as fur seals and dolphins. If these species numbers deplete, the food chains will consequently be affected. Although the Marguerites has been given a quota on their catch, there will need to be an increase in order for the trawler to make money in the future. Burke, Australia's Environmental Minister, has stated that he will watch the super trawler carefully. Okay. Yeah, well look, I am concerned about this boat. And the principal thing that I'm looking at is whether at the same time they're targeting the particular bait fish, what other marine species get taken up as a bycatch and swept up into the nets at the same time. Mr Burke will oppose and override the decision to allow the trawler in Australian seas if this is the case. The government in Senegal prohibited a super trawler to continue fishing in their oceans after local fishermen 
whose livelihoods depended on the fish levels, complained that their stock had run out. The consequences have left the country in economical disorder and put many out of jobs. It will be a long time until the fish populations can return back to their normal numbers after the devastation that the super trawler caused. As the world population continues to increase, so does the consumption of our natural resources. In order to sustain the growing population, non-renewable resources such as aquaculture must be carefully monitored and supervised, otherwise the resource will run out. Super trawler will deplete a large portion of fish from the ocean, although with careful monitoring of catch in Australia, will ensure the reproduction and growth of fish populations in Australian oceans.